Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Before we begin, please allow me to apologize for my video content lately. I know it's been really Lightroom heavy. Part of the reason for that is I've been working on some new partnerships and some new projects that I'm very excited about and very soon I'll be able to announce them to you. So I've been so busy working on all these other things behind the scenes, I haven't really had a lot of time to flesh out an in-depth series like I used to. And it's very easy for me to create a Lightroom video because I know Lightroom like the back of my hand. So many of you have emailed me asking me, why aren't I doing on one photo raw videos? Why aren't I doing more Luminar videos and so on? Why am I doing so much Lightroom? You don't use Lightroom any, any longer. I understand. Uh, please bear with me. Pretty soon I'll be able to announce what's going on and I'm really excited by it. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about something that actually someone emailed me at least six months ago. And I thought this is something that everyone should know because it may happen to you. What they asked me about is their filters are missing. And what they're talking a bit about is down here in the film strip, and I'm going to make this bigger by just clicking there and dragging up. And if you see this little uh, black kind of bar above the actual images in the film strip, you can see to the far right, uh, it says filter, but there typically and usually are some filters here. You could click on a flag, let's say, and it will filter the images in the grid and in the film strip and it only show your flagged images. You could show only your rejected images. You could show color labels, specific color labels, and you could show specific star ratings and all those filters are missing. If that ever happens to you, it's super easy to get them back. Right over here where it says filter, if you hover over that, you'll see the cursor turns into a little hand. You could click on that, click on that, and all your filters return. So you could see I could filter by my my picks, just the filters or just the images that I have flagged. I could turn that off. I could do, in that case, I was doing, uh, I should specify uh, images that had a flag and had at least one star. I could turn that off. So these are all the picks. I could turn that off. So you could see they're all there and the color labels are there too. And many of us like this because it's available, let's say in the develop module as well. So that is there. And again, how it disappears is somehow, some way you may have accidentally clicked on the word filter and it makes them go away. So that's it. I just wanted to uh, share that with you. Maybe that has happened to you or maybe that will happen to you and that's something you should know. So again, thank you everyone for putting up with all these Lightroom videos lately. I really do appreciate it and I really do appreciate everyone watching my videos. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.